Hello! Oh, this afternoon light is just perfect. I'm super amped about that. Welcome to a slightly frazzled studio vlog update. This week is a fun and exciting update. First, for Patreon members, Patreon subscribers, I have added the pre-release, unedited, untested version of the snail backpack crochet pattern to Patreon for members only. So if you are a subscriber, you can get that pattern. There have already been errors that have been uh, mentioned and brought up by the tester, so those errors are not fixed in the document that you'll be getting. If you cannot wait for the finished version to come out, subscribe on Patreon, get yourself the untested version, and uh, join the Discord, and maybe I will tell you <laughs> where the errors are, uh, or not. It could be a adventure that you go through all on your own. This week, I had a really, really fun, exciting, and busy week. I got to do some work travel again, and this will be the last of the work travel for the year so far, at least the last of the scheduled work travel. So... That means cozy crafting time can commence. Last week I was mumbling on about not necessarily being in the Christmas spirit yet. That is still true. However, we have placed a significant Lego order for some Lego Christmas sets that are going to be our window decoration this year. Every year we do like a little village scene in our living room window, and this year we're doing it Lego style. I am amped. We're a big miniatures, in case you can't tell, big miniatures nerd family here. We watch a lot of painting phase and all of that good stuff. My husband is a Warhammer gamer, and over there, I know how to point, over there. You can see some new minis are gracing my windowsill, begging to get painted. These are... <laughs> they deserve a video of their own, so they will get that. Uh, if you want to make guesses on what those miniatures are for slash from, <laughs> drop a comment. I can guarantee you probably won't get it right. Uh, but that said, I've been doing mini painting this week, which has been really fun. Painting some of the Warhammer 40k figures that we still have that are unpainted, not even for my army, uh, and also some of my own models for fun, which it's a new, newer, I'm not, I'm not super great at it, so it's a frustrating skill to develop, but I'm planning a whole separate video to talk about those, uh, those minis and what they are and what they're going to be, so that has been that crafty update. But also, yeah, I bet you didn't know you were following this big of a nerd. Surprise, I'm weird. But I did something on Sunday when I was initially planning to do some spinning. Surprise, I didn't. Um, but I was initially planning to do some spinning. Didn't do that. But instead, I cleaned out my cedar chest, all my sweaters, one of which I'm wearing. And I went through and organized them all, sorted some out, gave them a good love and folding, and then put them all back in my cedar chest. And I took a video showing off every sweater I've made since I learned to knit back in 2012. I have all of them still. The only one I realized there's one that wasn't in that video, and it's one that I made for one of our kids. So that one wasn't featured, but... Really, everything but one sweater. And it gave me a lot of ideas for what I want to make more of for my wardrobe, what I already have a lot of. And it was just nice. It was like a lovely little, like, tour of things that I've made. And that's always, like, a good feeling, right? To, like, look back at what you've made and be like, I'm proud of me. Good job. Um, but... I took a nice video documenting all the sweaters, and I'm going to voice over the little next segment um, and, and explain the sweaters and their patterns. I will try to link as many of the patterns as I remember in the description below. 
fun, right? Very fun. But this week, it's get your acts together time. I need to start knitting my sister's Christmas gift, which she knows what it is already because she specifically requested it. So it is video magic. It is the Diamond Lace Top by Mother of Pearl. I'm not sure if this pattern is discontinued now or not. Not sure, but it is one of their designs that I love and I obviously knit it for myself and it's a very frequent wear of mine. I wear it a lot during the summer and warmer months. It's cotton. I knit that version out of a recycled cotton that I pulled out of a sweater. Like I got a sweater at a thrift store, cotton sweater, unraveled it, and re-knit that top, which I love doing. Um, and my sister has been coveting it and asked for her birthday if I would knit her one. And I said, yes, but it won't be done on your birthday. <laughs> Because <laughs> she asked a reasonable amount before her birthday because she's a good person and she knows how to best request handmade items. Um, and like I bought the yarn a week before her birthday. I bought it at a hilarious little store in Sheboygan Falls called Evans. It's an old five and dime store that had literally everything. Fabric, yarn, Legos, socks, candy measuring cups, like any item you could want, plumbing supplies, anything you could want, they had it, including this yarn. So that was a fun trip. That was a work trip that I ended up getting to get some crafty goodness. So this is uh, Lily Sugar and Creams in the tea rose color. I bought Evans out of the color when I was there. So I have seven balls and that should be enough. I didn't do the math when I was there because I was overwhelmed by everything that I was seeing. But yes, very little crafting, lots of nerding, and lots of preparing for the season ahead. I also sorted out my whole yarn chest, which felt really good to like see everything that I have. That's that chest down there. It was nice. It was nice to like see everything laid out, think about some projects I want to make, I realized that there are some projects I thought I had the yarn for that I actually don't, which was a little confusing. And like, I know it's not in some mystery location. I actually don't have it. Like it was a myth in my mind. There is no such yarn in my stash. So it's for a specific sweater for myself. And now based on my own sweater stash exploration. I'm debating if I even want to make that sweater. Well, I'll decide and I'll get back to you. You don't need to hear me making decisions here on the vlog. But I'm going to jump in to the sweater show and tell. I think it's fun and I think it's neat to see what I've made, like what styles I had picked out in the past because I, I love them all still, but they're very different. They're reflective of very different eras of my knitting and crocheting journey. So I'll see you there. Sweater tour! I am excited to show these off. These are all of my handmade and vintage sweaters on my bed like a mess. And this is the first sweater I ever made. This is the Briquette sweater. I knit it out of a silk and alpaca blend. It has a hood and it has lovely different textures on it, which I adore. This is El Jarafe. Um, this is a sweater that I made that was bulky yarn. I actually made it after coming off of a knitting injury. It was nice to be in some bulkier yarn. This is Mel Passat. I think this actually probably is the fourth sweater I ever made. I didn't really order these correctly, but Love the little stripies, and I wear that one a lot. This is the first sweater that I ever designed. It was based on a vintage lace petals cardigan pattern that I modified to include pockets and long sleeves and a few other details that just made it more unique to me. This is the Circa 93T pattern by Mother of Pearl. If you've been on this channel for a minute, you know I love all of their designs. This one gets worn constantly. This is 
I think the most recent sweater that I've completed, it is just a basic raglan top down that I did math for, no pattern. It's out of Kaune from Estonia and some Rauma on the sleeves to match because I ran out of Kaune. This is what I was wearing earlier in the video. This is a crocheted raglan, also top down with knitted collar cuffs and hem ribbing. I just took my scrap fingering weight yarn and crochet moss stitched the whole body and all the sleeves sleeves are out of jameson uh and smith jameson's shetland i don't remember which this one is from the chenda diy crochet heart cardigan tutorial i made this one earlier this year I really love it. It's super, super comfy. Again, I knit the cuff, collar, and ribbing, but I feel like I want to rip the bottom ribbing out because the bind off I did isn't super elastic. I also was running out of yarn, wouldn't have enough to do the heart, so I did stripes on the back. <laughs> there had to be some modifications made because not all the yarns I had enough of. This one is the Half Moon Shrug by Mother of Pearl, and what makes it special is I didn't knit it. I included it in this video because I purchased this as a finished object and it's really, really special. I love it, wearing something someone else made. Uh, not a sweater, but um, one of my kids was like, you must include this. This is a crocheted rib cage that I made last fall. I love it. And a baby sweater. I'm not pregnant. This is from when one of my kids was little and gets to be counted in the number of sweaters I've made. I love it. 